Dave Kelly here, member of Aquascape's Pond Squad, also known as a tech guy. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace a worn out impeller assembly on an Aquascape mag drive pump. Now, your mag drives come in a wide range of sizes, from small little guys like this that power tiny water features up to larger scale ones that are great for small decorative water features. Their simple and uncomplicated design is what makes them last so long and so durable out there. There's basically only one moving part on an Aquascape mag drive pump and that's this impeller assembly right here. This is a wear and tear item. Similar to tires on your car, you may need to replace them from time to time. So if you notice a significant flow reduction in your water feature, or it's stopped altogether, you're gonna wanna come out and inspect the area the pump's at. Before you do anything, you wanna make sure you unplug your pump. Come over, access that area, check out and make sure you have enough water. A lot of times the simple problem is the water feature is actually low or the pump isn't fully submerged. Running your pump when it's not submerged or in low water situations can permanently damage the pump, so always make sure you have enough water. You want to pull the pump out, make sure there's not any debris simply causing the problem. Stuck to the intake of the pump, suffocating it. In this case, we're looking pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is pull this pump out and bring it to an area where I can do some further inspection. Now that we've got the pump pulled, we're going to want to open up the cage here and see if there's anything going on inside that's causing the problem. A couple tabs on the bottom, pull these with your fingers, and that cage is going to open up and it's going to reveal the volute here. Stuff could have made it by here, debris, mulch, fine material, and caused uh, this to clog up. So you'll easily see that if it's in there. If you don't see anything that looks clean, you're going to want to remove the volute. It's a slight turn to the left and it'll actually pop out and that reveals the impeller. You can inspect the impeller, make sure it's not worn down or damaged or once again stuff's clogging it up. And the impeller itself will actually pull out a little bit of force and you get the impeller. You're going to want to inspect the blades here. Make sure they're not broken or they're worn out. You also want to inspect the rotor. And in this case, this is the problem. This is all worn down. You can see it's all pitted and corroded here. And then the shaft is actually worn down. Put it in perspective, that's what a new one's supposed to look like. So it's time to replace your impeller on this pump. Service in the impeller is really easy. We got an impeller replacement kit here that has everything you need to do it, as well as a complete step-by-step -step instructions to show you how. We've got everything laid out right here. I pulled the pump out of this casing so I have access to that rear bearing on it. First thing I want to do is pull the O-ring off of here. I've got a replacement one with the kit. This is your bearing push tool. You're going to stick this in the back end here. Take a hammer. Push out the back bearing. Take your new bearing. Push it in like that. Take your new O-ring. Put it in there. And take your new impeller and slide it in, it'll snap into place. Last step is just sliding it back in the pump cage and you're good to go with a brand new impeller. A mag drive pump is no different than any other mechanical device. A little bit of routine maintenance will definitely help prolong its life. For more information on the impeller replacement kits or any other Aquascape product, visit our website at www.aquascaping.com.